Welcome. We are Rihanna and Massa, classical pianists and owners of the piano boat. Join us as we cruise the English waterways, making music along the way. Well, good morning. Lovely weather. And as ever, I still want to do the bow cam, although we have had a couple of fails, running out of memory because I forgot to delete the files, all sorts. First, we've got a nice little umbrella and the camera. There's <laughs> the camera. You can just see it. It's cozy there. I was enjoying whilst I was under, but now I'm under the element and the, the power cables are protected. I need to bring this down in case there are bridges. And we're ready to go. Hi. Hi. This was the uh, site that greeted us this morning as we decided we were going to leave. So, true boating weather, as they say. First lock of the day. Not letting up so far. Pretty soggy. Turns out this coat is not really waterproof either. Yay! <laughs> I just spotted this water bird trail. Is it what's it called? Water bird trail thing. So looks quite interesting. It's probably nicer on a on a nice day, but this kind of nature reserve in the River Lee Country Park. Water bird discovery trail. There it is, there's the sign. Beautiful. Look at this. Amazing. Just off the canal. Oh, if we had more time, it would be so nice to explore this. Maybe on the way back next week. stretch of river and it's not raining too heavily there are no boats around so I'm quite enjoying this to be honest the River Lee is really beautiful has just spotted a water point in this lock for some strange reason so we've got loads and loads of insects stuck to the roof must be from the rain so he's decided he's gonna hose the roof down whilst we wait for the lock to fill which is nearly there actually but you know no no one coming Still raining. What 
what you want. Something. Well, this is the worst bit of it. No. Random water point right there. Do you want to get the extra hose? Uh oh. Okay, that's Time to stop. <laughs> well, here's the fish and eels that we have just had lunch. I can imagine it's very nice when the weather is good. Seeing all the boats go past. Perfect spot for gong gooslers. Well, the rain has eased a bit anyway. Well, we had made it, having left in the morning of the 1st of June. This was early evening on the 4th of June, having gone through about 50 miles of cruising and almost 30 locks. We joined the flotilla of boats from the St Pancras Cruising Club already moored and as you see they kept a big space for us to be able to moor and we were greeted by the cruise coordinator from the club we had arrived the relief well done made it been a long journey <laughs> <laughs> recon journey. Today we're not going to move. It's a rest day for me, rest day for Rihanna, except she's volunteered to clear the deck or clean the deck after a rainy day and lots of uh, goose geese do's. And so I was resting and then she comes and says, would you mind helping? Uh, okay. And she wants me to bring in buckets of water all the time um, so that she can wash the deck. And then I realized I forgot about this amazing facility that I thought we might be out somewhere and because we have to look presentable where the boat has to, I can stay indoors as I am. Um, I always thought I need a facility to be able to wash down the boat and of course the tap comes like this and I thought well obviously we want to connect something to the tap and I actually did get something so I thought this is the actual opportunity to try it. So here we have this little thing. I did try other things. This is the only one that works and I have forgotten, but I seem to have made some um, cut, I cut into this to make sure it fits. So let's see if this works. Well, some of the bits I've forgotten what they were for, but let's see what does work. So this thing will unscrew. 
Hopefully unscrew. Uh -huh. And this, oh no, not, not this, this should, uh -huh. there we are. So that screws in. Doesn't look as presentable, but, and then it should be a matter of this. Oh, this is where the indent becomes useful. It slots in there. No, it's not slotting in. Hmm. It's not slotting. It's supposed to do that. Uh, maybe I need to. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. As simple as that. Now then, what we do is to attach there. How about that? Okay. Glorious weather today. So here we are, the moment of truth. Oh, seems to be filling up. No leaks here. And it seems to be working. Oh, very powerful. Well, inevitably, it runs on the pump. Now we have a nice, clean deck. seen it before though it was all smeared with green brown uh, goose poo because you step off and there it is so but now nice and clean Good morning. Well, we're on our way back now. And there's what a another journey. Pokemon up here. And we have the seven-year-old guest. There's another on Pokemon. Today. So we'll see you later on. managed to get uh, the pizza ready and well frankly it's all instant apart from the rice balls already and asparagus bacon already to be put on the grill which is now sitting right here
Well, these are interesting. There are non-slip treatment on the top of the gates, but no uh, handrails. I wouldn't fancy crossing it. Maybe I do. <laughs> what are you doing? Probably well, because I know I can always fall onto the boat. That would be very painful if you fell onto the boat. Yeah, this is anyway, Maybe not. Health and safety. Oh, it is possible. Careful. Oh, I can't remember why I came to this side now. <laughs> Just to maybe say it really takes time to fill these rocks. Still not full. Still coming there. Somehow this side feels more scary. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. <laughs> so after all the hard work of manual locking, it just takes a press of a button. electronically operated or hydraulic operated lock gates aren't rare on the river but how do you find that much easier The morning began like any other. My usual routine of hoovering the roof, polishing the sides of the boat, no problem. We had some way to go, but we took our time. Going through central London never tires. Even the long Islington Tunnel was fine, and then came the Maida Vale Tunnel. The sun was out, I couldn't see, I thought I was slow enough, but I completely misjudged the angle to the tunnel entrance. Tragedy. The noise, the shock, the boat practically floated through the tunnel. My first thought was to see what the damage was, and it turned out it wasn't too bad. Still in much need of remedial paint work. Perhaps it was the wheel. I didn't get enough control. Of course it wasn't, it was the angle, but we decided to switch to tiller steering from here. Exhausted, but we had to complete the journey. We are actually approaching Harefield Marina on Wednesday, uh, so uh, we didn't need to extend the cruise day, uh, cruise days, and uh, we're nearly back. Another hour and a half to go. But uh, relief is really the word. I must say this has been quite exhausting. Um, it's never nice to put a sort of a negative touch to it, but this has been exhausting and the vessel has seen many battle scars. More so than the last October cruise. And I feel I've lost a bit of confidence, really. Um, but uh, I think the short cruises are fine. We know our routes, even though the till is heavy. And do I play the piano right after handling this tiller? It is quite taxing, but uh, we've tried the wheel and it seems to work better, so that's something to get used to, possibly. But, uh, uh, 
Alright. But fortunately, we've managed to get this far. We decided to just spend the whole day, get back to Harefield. And as you see, I'm not driving at the moment. It does help to have extra crew rather than to do the solo cruise. So, um, so uh, there we are, um, nearly back, but it's just not the same as an arrow. It is exhausting. back at Harefield. It's been a very long week or eight days or whatever it is. Um, we'll have to work out the number of locks and miles and hours that we've done. My feet are aching. My hands have never been so tanned. At least we've had nice weather um, and it's been good to, to cruise and I think once you kind of get into the flow of things it's, it's quite fun. Um, but it has been a bit of a mammoth journey to do in, in a short space of time. So looking forward to when we can do this a bit more relaxed and not worry about racing back to start working again. Well, we are now at familiar Harefield waters just right here. We've made it. Yep, it's been, been a long, long but short week somehow. Um, and yeah, shame to be back to normal life again. <laughs> Somehow life on the water is is nice and you feel like you're kind of just floating above everything and uh, it's, it's peaceful and slow and I don't really want to go back to hectic, <laughs> hectic London life again. Well, I'm not sure I share the views about the calm and tranquility <laughs> well, it's supposed to be for this one i don't know whether it's because it's one's own vessel it's just quite i mean i never would treat higher boats badly i was always careful but there's some level of i suppose i'm the one who has to fix it the paintwork whatever else i'm the one who has to fix it whereas higher boats if an unfortunate incident happens we do pay for the damage waiver in advance and they sort it. So that could have a bearing. But anyway, relief. That's true. Yeah, here we are. Relief this is, this is, this is familiar. Nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> well, we're a bit shallow actually. Oh. But so, uh, so that concludes this journey. This marathon. This voyage. Yep. Yeah. And uh, well, we will be returning with. Yeah, we'll be back soon. We'll see you soon. Something else. Um, At some point. Yeah. Don't know when we'll be doing this again, but maybe next holiday. Well, we'll be back with some material. Yeah. Not necessarily cruise videos. Yes. Anyway, thanks for coming with us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>